Hello everyone! This Pilates class is going to be a easy beginner's flow and or if you just want to take things down a notch. Starting off the back of our mat, sitting in hero's pose, taking a few deep breaths to ground ourselves. From here, reaching your right hand to your right foot, left hand to your right knee for a nice gentle spinal twist. Then switching out sides, left hand to left foot, right hand to left knee, just to switch the sides on our twist. Returning back to centre, coming into some seated sun salutations, reaching our hands up and overhead, down to your prayer hands, and reaching back up to the sky. Prayer hands or just palms together. Reaching back up again. Prayer hands. Reaching back up. This time leaning forward, maybe separating your knees a little bit if that feels nicer for a child's pose. Just nice deep breaths here, feeling a nice stretch throughout our spine our back muscles. Now shifting on forward and coming into a up dog. Then pressing it back to your child's pose. We're going to repeat this a few times. Shift forward to your up dog. Shift back to a child's pose. Shift forward upward facing dog. Shift back, child's pose. Shift forward, but this time cat cow. And now this time coming into a naughty kitten. So with our naughty kitten, for each time we reach back to the center, we just switch out rotation. Shifting back to your child's pose just briefly. Feel free to relax through the elbows as well. Now coming up into your downward facing dog, feel free to keep a bend in the knees. See if you can't straighten out your legs. Feel free to add a walk to your downward dog, just to really enhance a stretch in your hamstring and calves. Now straightening out, coming to a modified high plank. Going to extend one leg at a time, and that'll be our first exercise. One, two, three, four, and five. Now coming to a high plank and double knee tap to the mat. One, two, three, four, five. Now feel free to stay on your knees. We're going to bring same knee to same elbow, alternating for two, three, four, five. Straightening back through the legs again to a high plank and bringing opposite knee to opposite edge of the mat for two, three, four, five, six and seven and now drop to your knees chest and chin upward facing dog shifting back to a child's pose
Shifting forward now to a tabletop. You're going to extend out your left leg. You're going to bring your left knee to your chest. Extend back out for one, two, three, four, five. Now stick with this or extend your right arm coming into your bird dog crunches. Pulsing up and then crunching in for one. Pulse up once and then crunch in for three. Pulse, crunch, pulse, crunch, pulse, and crunch. Your left leg stays extended, right hand down, left side rainbow kicks for two, three, four, and five. Now bring your left knee to your left elbow, then your left foot returns back to the opposite side behind you. Crunch it in and tap behind you for two, three, four, and five. And now coming into a left side modified side plank. So your left leg is bent, your right leg extended. Once you're adjusted, lift up your right leg and tap back down. Lift up and tap. Lift up and lower. And lift and lower. And lift and lower. And now bringing your right knee to your right shoulder, crunch and lift. Crunch and lift. Crunch and lift. Crunch and lift. Crunch and lift crunch and lift and now 10 forward circles 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 reverse 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 that got probably exhausting in your left glutes keeping your right leg extended apply these push-ups to the best that you can for one and two and three and four and five and release back to a child's pose once again you can feel free to relax the elbows to the mat Coming back through to a tabletop, make sure that you're nice and grounded, nice and centered, core is engaged. You're going to extend your right leg this time. Bring your right knee to your chest and extend. Crunch it in and extend. Crunch in, extend. Crunch in, extend. Crunch in and extend. And stick with this or bird door crunches. Left elbow, right knee, crunch in, extend. Crunch in, extend with a pulse. Crunch in and extend. Crunch in and extend. Crunch in and extend. I seem to have been blending my pulses with my crunches, but that's alright. Right side rainbow kicks for three, four, five. And now right knee to right elbow, and then back behind you off center. Right knee, right elbow, kick behind you. Right knee, right elbow, kick behind you. And one more time. Then you're going to extend and shift onto your right side modified plank. So your right leg is bent, the left leg is straight. Kick up your left leg and lower. Kick up and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And this time, left knee, left chest and kick. Crunch it in and kick. Crunch it in and kick. 
crunch and kick. And now for some circles. 10 going forward, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, reverse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, keep that left leg straight, pivot back to center, Pilates push-ups, 4, 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, awesome job, shifting forward however you see fit, and then coming onto your back. We're going to work some more of our abs. But first bring your knees to your chest so to catch your breath. Allow parts of you to settle down. Feel free to allow your knees to flop just outside of your waist by keeping a grip onto your knees. And now from here, making sure your core is engaged, you going to extend your legs up and bring your knees back to your chest. Extend your legs back to your chest. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. Now feel free to bring your arms up and overhead. Extend your legs as you bend your knees in. A brief grip onto your knees. So cocoon crunches in full effect. Extend and bend. Extend and bend in. Now propping up onto your elbows. Bend your knees up to the tabletop, flex your feet and push your feet away. Or push an imaginary substance out of the way. Keep on kicking or pushing, alternating legs. And now we're going to ever so slightly rock through your hips. Bend your knees in and extend to each opposite side. So each time your legs switch, you'll be able to see the outside edge of your thigh with a slight rock to your hips. And now coming back to a ball posture. We aren't doing too many reps. We are keeping this nice and light, but just enough to work different parts of ourselves. Like I said, it's perfect for if you're just getting introduced to Pilates. So once again, feel free to have your knees flopped outwards, but keeping a grip onto them. And now, going to come up, scissor kick your feet almost down, wide feet, scissor kick, down. And feel free to keep a bend in the knees if it helps to take the edge off a little bit. As you flutter your feet down, near enough to your mat, you've widened your feet, back up to the sky. Flutter kick down, widen up. Gripping onto your legs now. From here, table top your legs again, pointed feet, and alternating pressing your feet away from you. A gentle kick, and then center. Switch legs, and back to center to a table top, and extend. Stick with this, or come into full dead bug. Opposite arm, opposite leg. So when your left arm goes back, your right leg goes out. When your right arm reaches up and overhead, your left leg extends. Keep going, making sure that core stays engaged. And bring your knees to your chest one more time. And now laying on your right side, you're going to develop your left knee up to your left shoulder and straighten as you lower back down. Develop and kick down. Lowering your leg with as much control as you can. Develop a kick and straighten down. Kick and lower. Lift and lower. Now from here, bicycle your leg forward and straight coming back. Bent knee coming forward, straight leg coming back. Bent knee forward, straight leg back. Coming forward and back. Coming forward and back, coming forward and back, 
coming forward one more time and back. Now from here straight leg forward, bend your knee and then return back to base. Straight leg forward, bend your leg, come back to base. Sweep your straight leg forward, bend your knee, come back to base. And now just straight kicks all the way up, four, two, three, straight foot coming up, fixed foot coming down, and kick, and kick, and kick. Now Pilates clamshells, your feet up in the air, knees down, lifting up your left knee, about as wide as you can manage depending on hip mobility, and lift, and lift. And lift and lift and now returning onto your back lifting up your heels then lifting glutes lowering glutes lower heels lift heels then glutes lower glutes lower heels keep on going And now swinging all the way around onto your left side. Or if you're mirroring me, you'll be on the opposite side. Once again, we're going to develop our right leg. Bend your knee to your right shoulder. Then straighten your leg as you lower back down with control. A pointed foot coming up, a flexed foot coming down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now coming back to his bicycle knee, bent knee coming forward, straight leg kicking back, coming forward, coming back, coming forward, coming back, kicking forward and back. Feel free to bend in your lower leg for additional support. And now reversing that, straight leg coming forward, bent leg coming back. Straight leg coming forward, bent knee coming back, straight forward and back, straight forward, bend and back, straight forward, bend and back. Now from here, a pretty simple kick up and lower with control. A very quick explosive kick up and a slow controlled lower back down. So your foot is pointed as you come up, your foot is flexed as you come down. And kick and lower, and kick and lower. Pilates clamshells, knees down, feet up, and this time your right leg comes up. And lift, and lift. One side might come up a bit higher than the other, my right side actually comes up higher than my left. And now returning onto your back for some glute bridges but in butterfly pose. Feet together, knees wide and lift. And lift. And lift. Lift. Lift, try to keep those knees as wide as you can. And lift. and lift with a good squeeze to the glutes and fixing your feet out sitting all the way up to forward fold crunches so laying back down and sitting up to a full crunch gripping onto your legs for a forward fold just briefly lower back down sitting back up full body crunch forward fold just for a brief moment and then lay back down coming back up just five all together lowering back down and coming back up lifting and crunching and now holding our forward fold feel free to grip onto your knees your shins your ankles or your feet now we're walking back and forth giving our back a nice massage
And on your next rock, see if you can't rock your way up to an easy seated pose in one bell swoop. But of course, if you do need to make the additional adjustments, no worth at all to make me an easy seated pose whenever you're ready. And at long last, when we're happily in our easy seated pose, elbows to the knees, Ane Muja if you'd like. Taking some nice deep easy breaths, allowing ourselves to come back down, then rising your hands up and overhead, and then bringing your hands to your chest, bowing it out with yourself. Thank you so much for watching and or flowing. I do appreciate it either way. I really hope you enjoyed this easy beginner Pilates class or just a class to tone things down in your workout. Thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you all for my future videos. Namaste.